propagating grapevines is not that hard to do. I mostly do it through hardwood cuttings. You can also use softwood cuttings or layer them. And I've tried a lot of different treatments and I want to know what works the best. Typically, I used to just use rooting hormone, just conventional IBA, and uh, learning about the toxicities of it, I decided to try some other methods. So, let's see. If you look at these two rows, right down here, the one on the left was started with, uh, I guess that would be the top of your screen. That one was started with honey, the first half of it, and then the second half was no rooting powder. And then the bottom row I did rooting powder, and so far it doesn't look like it made any difference. I found that once grape cuttings leaf out that they're pretty much rooted. And then in this bed, the only row that didn't do well is the one in the middle. Let's see if we can get a better shot. So this row... It's mostly, uh, this is all Concord. Then this is Niagara. Ni Niagara I have almost, oh, maybe 10% rooted or less. And those were taken in the fall. The other cuttings I took in late winter, in about March. And then these are Warden on this side. And they pretty much all rooted. They were also taken in March. And half of them were rooting powder and half of them either honey or nothing. And it seems like it doesn't matter if you do anything with the grapevines. The way I take the cuttings is I just get one section of stem, a bud at the top, and then it's planted where there's a bud at the bottom. And I just jam them in to the ground about six, six inches or so and give them a little mulch and that's about it. They can grow quite a bit. This is only the middle of June and so they're just getting started by the end of the summer if I don't pinch stuff back it'll be a, a tremendous tangle of grapevines but anyways those are just one person's observations and I don't know if any rooting powder or honey is necessary for rooting grapevines I think they're just fine on their own